at the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas. Just a quick uh, video recap of the lessons, okay? Over the last couple days, uh, we worked on the forehand, the one-handed backhand, the, the, the one-handed slice, and also the serve. Okay, on the forehand, I really preach space with the left hand, hitting outside the left hand, about half a foot outside the left hand. You did a very well, you did a very good job at doing that. Um, but you were in here, you're really tight. You still get there sometimes. So really focus on catching the racket in space. Once you get that mastered, then you can kind of let it go. But I want space on that forehand, okay? Just make sure you don't get tight. Take those quick little steps as well. You know, when you get set for the ball, make sure you don't blow too early, because that can be a problem. So keep that in mind on the forehand. On the backhand, okay? I really talked about driving through the point of contact. You did a great job. And the most important thing, turn that right shoulder and cross that foot, and then drive right through from the hips. Okay, remember the finish is up here. Your one-hander I, I like. On the slice, we had to make some major corrections. When you first came out, you were back here. I moved you up here, okay? There's a slight grip change. We just want to make sure we're at continental. We're not over here. You know, we're more continental right there, if you can see. You're more, you're more continental when you first started. You were over here a little bit, okay? Kind of pushing. Now, we focus on keeping the hand up, all right? But a couple things. You have to lean the right shoulder, and you have to almost lunge when you swing. On a couple, you catch them really, really close inside, or you would open up. We have to stay turned. Okay? You use this left hand pretty well for balance, so I really don't have to pick on you for that. But I would really preach that you stay up here. Occasionally you're down here, okay? So you need to get up here. When you first came out, you were here all the time. Keep that in mind and make sure you follow the path of the ball. I also talked about keeping focus on the point of contact when you practice. With the serve, obviously you're coming around with the right foot, okay? I'm really trying to get you lean forward, take this back foot out, so work on that, okay? The difference between the kick serve and the flat serve, you're going through the ball on the flat serve. On the kick serve, you're going across the ball. So the finish is different. Notice that I'm going through the ball on the flat serve. On the kick serve, I'm going from left to right. And it's almost finishing over here. Notice this motion, okay? I told you it's okay to cheat a little bit and start tossing the ball a little to your left just to get that brushing motion, but you don't want to go through, you want to go across and finish here, okay? Work on that one more thing, just a slight little grip change to give you a little more grip on that serve. Also talked about letting that ball drop. On the flat serve, you have to, you have to hit it at the peak. On the kick serve, you have to let it drop a little bit, okay? Work on that. Another thing is, start short. Start here and abbreviate it, and then once you get the rhythm, let the racket drop and then come back up, okay? Good luck and we'll see you very soon.